Hey there, what's up YouTube? King Scourge here giving you guys a long awaited deck profile for you guys. Uh, I'm going to try and keep up my end of the bargain and make, because I remember I have been promising you guys a new deck profile and it's been a while. Uh, I've been doing some other videos and stuff, make sure you check those out. But we are going to be doing an update on my Odd Eyes deck profile. Um, and like I said, there are some new cards coming out Friday with Soul Fusion, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, we're getting finally getting that Asinato spell, so I may give you an updated Melodious deck profile, hopefully when I get that finished. But I do have a couple other deck profiles and gameplays for you guys in store for you guys uh, when my schedule allows it. Excuse me. But anyway, so without further ado, like I said, we're going to do my Odd Eyes deck profile. I hope and keep in mind that you guys can do it build this deck any way you want this is just my personal preference and I'll tell you what cards I would definitely take out um, but I just play them for some really really bullshit combos that are dumb but are effective and help you win the duels so um, first we want to start with your three chronograph sorcerer since um, cause you know astrograph sorcerer got banned um, a long time ago we play three chronograph we do play the one time gazer but he's a free special summon if a monster if a monster you control is destroyed by battle card effect you can special summon from your hand and you get another special summon um, and then you can use the scale effect to pop himself and place a time gazer or special summon it uh, he's staple <laughs> he is staple for this deck yeah you definitely want to play three of Next we play three Dark Worm. Sorry if the glare is kind of in your eyes. Uh, yeah, we play three Supreme King Gate Dark Worm. Um, or Supreme King Dragon Dark Worm. He's also staple. He just uses him to search the gates. Unfortunately, I don't really see the point of just getting him in your graveyard. So I don't play Dragon Shrine because we're only playing one of the gates. But you just want to be able to search that gate. Uh, we're only playing one gate zero. And that's what I feel the ratio should be. Uh, Gate Infinity isn't that good, but you play three, and usually if you get him out, you don't really have to act. You can't really activate his effect. He's just kind of there to help search out the gate. That's it. The reason why people play Dragon Shrine and Foolish is so you can get him in the graveyard. It's a free special summon. It's kind of dumb, so I don't play the Foolish or Dragon Shrine, but you definitely can if you feel like that's the way you want to play it. Next, we play uh, three Odd Eyes Persona Dragon. Basically, it's negate. <laughs> you play three negates. If you can pendulum summon um, this, which most likely you will, it's a free negate. It's a quick effect um, once per turn during either player's turn. You can target one face up monster that was special summoned from the extra deck and negate its effects until the end of their turn. So, it's an out to every card's out to Trigate Wizard. I mean, it's literally an out to every card, and it's easy to get out. Um, you're not really, and he's a low scale, so to set your pendulum scales and help you go out, go out and push for game with your pendulum summons. His pendulum effect is basically, um, once per turn during the end phase, if your opponent activates a card effect that targeted one odd eyes you control, and no other cards, unless cards in your pendulum zone, you can spell this card and place one eyes pendulum monster from your extra deck in your pendulum zone. Except for Persona. So, uh, he's kind of nice, but you're not really going to use the first effect. You're going to use the sec the monster effect more often than not. But it's just there. It's a negate. you got to run three out. You can bump them down to two, but again, easy negate. Next, we run three odd eyes pendulum dragon, uh, scale four, level seven. Reduces the battle damage you take to zero with his pendulum effect, and then you can blow him up during the end phase to search a uh, pendulum monster 1500 attack points or less. And his monster effect is he does double double damage. Um, you're going to be doing a lot of rank seven plays, so I you just run him at three and he's a searcher, and you can search him out very easily. And I'm going to show you some other combos. Um, I may show you some combos at the end of the video. Yeah. Another card you play three of, Arc Pendulum. Um, 
Gear free if an allies you control is destroyed by battle card effect once per turn, and it's a quick effect. You can basically spell summon an allies from your hand deck or graveyard. So, yeah, get out whatever you need at the current moment. Really helpful. And it's a scale eight, and it's a level level seven. So, and he's a normal monster. So, you could, if you really wanted to, you could play like summoner's art to search him out. But I don't. I just stick with the three duels alliance and search out the arc pendulum. Or the Ice Pendulum Dragon. I say stick with three Duelist Alliance, which I'll explain later. For the two Ogs, we run two Phantom. This card is actually really good, but not good enough to run at three. He basically, uh, he's a scale four, but he's also level seven. But he can help this. He can wipe out half your li half your opponent's life points, like very easily. Um, it's Master Effect. If it's Pendulum Summon card, it's inflicts battle damage. You could, if you have two odd eyes in your Pendulum scales, he basically burns your opponent for 1,200 for each one. So if he's 2,500, if he blows something up, they're taking battle damage plus a potential extra 2,400. So again, that's 4,900 points of damage if you know if it's a direct attack. But yeah, I like him at two, and he just boosts your monster by 1,200 uh, if it was in the Pendulum scale. Next, we play two Odd Eyes Mirage. Putting, basically protects your Odd Eyes from being destroyed by Battle of Card Effect once a turn, as long as another Odd Eyes in your scale. And if an Odd Eyes card is you control is and your Pendulum Zone is destroyed by Battle of Card Effect, you can destroy this card and place another face up Odd Eyes in your Pendulum Zone instead as well. So, he's a level 3. Again, it's a quick effect too, so again, you can protect your Odd Eyes from being destroyed. Uh, I played two Noble Dragon Magician, even though we only have two Synchros. Um, you could bump it down to one, but I play two just for, use the other one for Link Fodder, and I'd like to see it. Um, because if you Synchro Summon into a level 7, um, if all the materials weren't Odd Eyes, then it gets shuffled back in your deck, and then it's like, well, gee, you know. So I like using it too, and you can use it for Link Fodder too. But basically, if it's in your field or graveyard, um, you can... Reduce the odd eyes level monster, odd eyes monster you control level by three, and then um, special summon it, and then you can just use it for synchro summon. So again, I run them at two, but for link fodder. One John K magician, using it for to go in your odd eyes raging and rebellion. If you can just have this first turn, you basically OTK your opponent if your opponent has no response. So, yeah, j Raging and Rebellion, just run one of him. He's a plus he's a level 7, so, um, and he can, he's another negate as well for light monsters. So, it's a quick effect, you can target one, during, once per turn during either player's turn, you can target one face up light monster and negate its effects to the end of the turn. So, it's an out to certain cards like Infinity and stuff like that. One Odd Eyes Lancer, um, Again, you're going to summon him off of uh, Arc Pendulum. Basically, if an, he is the boss master of the deck. You only run one, but he's 3,000 uh, attack, 2,000 defense. When he battles, your opponent can't activate spells or traps until the end of the damage step, so it has an ancient gear effect. Um, also, if an Odd-Eyes card, including himself, would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can destroy another Odd-Eyes card in your hand, field, hand or field instead. So, note how it says Odd Eyes card. So, he's basically. And if multiple cards were to be destroyed, of your Odd Eyes cards would be destroyed, you can just basically destroy a card. And it's really dumb. You just run one of him. Um, again, negating destruction and stuff. Um, my personal tech, I run. One Supreme King Dragon Odd Eyes. Um, I know he's a level 8 and he's not the best of Odd Eyes. No one really runs him, but I run him because of his Pendulum effect. All Pendulum monsters you control do double damage. Yeah. And if you have an Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, the effect stacks. So then you have your Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon that does four times the damage. And there's another ridiculous combo that I can show you. But basically, screw. Screw Chaos Max and screw Chaos Blue Eyes Chaos Dragon and Chaos Max. 
double double damage odd eyes. Yeah, just run it over. And I have an I have couple, play other a couple of tech cards um, to help so you can get this out and then go off with your combos. But this affects all pendulum monsters, so it, all your pendulum monsters just do double damage immediately, or at least do double battle damage. So it's nice to just have him on the field. I also run one of this guy. <laughs> this is kind of weird, but again, uh, so in case you in case you pen want to pe feel like pendulum summoning, uh, you can that way you can pendulum summon Supreme King Dragon Out Eyes because it's level eight. You can completely take this out if you want, but if he's normal summon and you have two cards in the pendulum zones, you can basically send your opponent's spells or traps to the graveyard uh, in the same column as your pendulum zones. So he he can essentially just get rid of probably some spells or traps and he he's a recyclable pie scale so literally if a monster pendulum something he just goes back to the hand he returns to the hand so I just run one of him nothing too fancy I mean I guess it's kinda weird but I just like running him I mean I know you can get him off of add him back with a I know you can add your uh, Supreme King Dragon Eyes back with Electromite and then special summon him out again, but this is just much easier. And Lancer Dragon, you can pendulum summon Lancer Dragon too if you don't feel like using wasting Arc Pendulum's effect to get him back. Uh, next staples, uh, one Time Gazer because we run the three Chronograph, and then the one uh, for the last monster we run the one Supreme King Gate Zero because we have the three Dark Worm. Uh, use gate zero to pop your stuff um, pop your stuff and get out synchro monsters if you need to um, and it's just a low scale for scale zero so you can pendulum summon anything between those two scales so that's it for the um, the monsters now let's talk about spells and traps triple skyris standard pop a card you control face up card you control uh, and, and not eyes Add an ice card, I should say, so helps you search. Um, can trigger Arc Pendulum Dragon's effect if you have already ha already have them in the field. You play three in it for defense. Uh, magicians and uh, perform upon that ice monsters you control from being targeted in your Pendulum zones from being targeted by card effects. So three is staple. Triple Duelist Alliance. Again, we have a lot of cards with Pendulums in their name, so Arc Pendulum or the Odd Ice Pendulum Dragons. Um, those are pretty much going to be your staples. Like I said, you can feel free to substitute um, the Karate Spirit with like a, a Summoner's Art, one or two Summoner's Art, just to get out your Arc Pendulums quicker. I feel like three Dual Slides is enough at the moment if you're playing three Skyers, you know. Uh, triple spiral flame strike. Basically, it's it's an MST. It can be used as an MST or another searcher for add a level seven or higher odd ice card or add a level seven odd ice card from your deck to your hand. I really don't feel like you need to play Summoner's Art to search your Arc Pendulums because you can just use this. Literally, if you control odd ice card, and this isn't once per turn, so helps you search. Two terraform me because it's at two. Pretty stuff. Pretty stable. Because you run three skyers. My uh, ratio to field spell to terraformings is usually two to one. So usually for every two field spells, I play um, one terraforming. But if we play three field spells, you play two. So it's a three to two ratio. And since terraforming is only at two. And we only play one type of field spell, so that's why I play two. Play two Allure. You can bump this up to three if you'd like. Uh, your entire deck, except for the Noble Dragon. And uh, Karate Orb is dark. So two Allure for draw consistency. You can also run, since we do run a lot of level sevens, we can run Sacred Swords of the Seven Stars if you'd like as well. That also gives you a plus two. Um, so again, you can swap out any of these cards that you feel that you would like. But right now, for two allure seems to be pretty good at this point. I might actually consider taking these out for Sacred Swords of Seven, or take these out and put Sacred Swords of Seven Stars in there. 
Um, yeah, you have to banish level 7, but it's they're all dark anyway. So it's up to you. If um, Sacred so Allures are only are very cheap now, so you can get them for like $2 a piece, but if you have Sacred Swords with 7 stars, you can use that. That's a great alternative for Allures. Um, it's either banish Dark Monster or you banish a level 7 or draw 2. They, uh, Sacred Swords with 7 stars is actually probably a better choice because of the fact that, yeah, you have to banish a level 7, but most of your eyes are level 7. And you don't have to discard your hand. You don't have to worry about not drawing a dark monster or not having a dark monster in your hand. So it's completely up to you. Uh, I only do two waving eyes. You can play three, but I only do two because they're you're at most you're only going to be searching. Uh, you're not going to be destroying four pendulum zones unless you're doing a mirror match or some sort of playing some other pendulum deck. But for right now. Two wavering eyes is the be best choice, because uh, then you're gonna you're just gonna get used to get a search or blow up your scales and get a search or just burn your opponent for 500. I feel like three is too cloggy. Um, next we do one out eye fusion. Again, we don't really even see this card. We don't have to because we're gonna be going into absolute another rank sevens. So we just want one because in case. Shit happens. And for the last of the deck, we run... Again, these are my tech cards as well. Two Dragon's Rage. Now, about that combo that I was telling you about earlier. Um, about that combo with the uh, double piercing. This card, a majority of your deck is Dragons. And your extra deck. This basically allows Dragons types on your side to do piercing battle damage. So basically, if you have Supreme King Dragon Odd Eyes and an Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, or any other dragon that Pendulum Dragon, because you're going to have either Phantom, Mirage, or anything that's solid, or any of your dragon types, they will do double battle damage. <laughs> so basically, you essentially have a weaker version of Chaos Max. Um, but yeah, just being able to pierce and help, it helps push your game. You can totally take these out, and this is my choice, but I just love running these. It, it, it's a stupid combo. It really is, but it works. Uh, so that's it for the main deck. Now let's talk about the extra deck. Um, I did it. Okay, so first thing we're starting off with, um, one Electromite, because it's at one. Uh, I managed to get my hands on it. Uh, Electromite's only like $6 now, thank God. Uh, I managed to get my hands on two of them, actually. But yeah, one Electromite helps you, helps you get your combo started. Just requires two Pendulum Monsters. When you summon, you can add one Pendulum Monster from your deck face up to your extra deck. Then you can blow up your scales, blow up a card in your Pendulum Zone, and draw a card, and then add one face up Pendulum Monster from your extra deck to your hand. Uh, you can only use that effect once per turn. That's why Electromite got uh, got limited to one because the effect is so freaking good. Next, I do We Witch's Apprentice again. A majority of the deck is are dark, so just having a monster, just having a few pendulum monsters that get their attack and defense boosted by five hundred. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with having a three thousand odd eyes pendulum dragon. <laughs> um, yeah, I may weaker odd eyes lancer dragon because it's a light by four hundred, but again. A card that can protect a 3,000 odd eyes pendulum dragon that, if you have Dragon Rage on the field, that does double piercing. So again, screw, cha screw Chaos Max and screw Chaos Dragon. I'm talking about you, Blue Eyes. Screw them both. <laughs> have this combo. If you have that board, your opponent's going to have a really hard time out on that board. Uh, one Deco Talker for more negates, and it's generic. If your opponent even attempts to target your crap, you can just tribute a pendulum monster, negate the activation, and destroy that crap. Say, get out of here. Um, I also play one Bor Bor Guard Dragon. This should be a Boral Sword, but obviously I couldn't get my hands on a Boral Guard or a Boral Sword because that's that card's still like freaking seventy dollars. Um, and I like this effect somewhat better. It's link point for good. It's a three thousand. It's a three thousand body. And it has a quick effect where you can put a monster put a monster on the field in defense mode and it has a spell speed of four effect where your opponent can't act, need 
carjin effects can't be activated in response to switching a monster to defense mode. And if you have a monster that's destroyed, um, you can just send one card from your spell traps onto the graveyard, spell summon that monster to, um, and it has, but it has its effects negated and it can't attack this turn. Which is fine. If you have a pendulum monster that uses XZ, like an Odd Eyes or something, um, that's fine. Get an Odd Eye, get a pendulum monster back, it goes back to your extra deck. That's not bad. That's not a bad trade off. Next for the XZs, um, two Odd Eyes Absolute. The most common one you're going to be going into. Negate the attacks and special summons Odd Eyes. Cards from your, um, graveyard uh, so and then when he if he's sent to the graveyard if he's actually summoned and sent to the graveyard you can spell summon one odd eyes monster from your extra deck so again it's a free odd eyes <laughs> one one big eye because rank seven why not <laughs> why not um, Steals monsters, <laughs> literally, <laughs> just steals monsters, and it's use it's big eye. Yeah, I mean, self-explanatory. Um, one odd eyes raging and one odd eyes rebellion. Rate again. If you can go in one of these and you have John K magician out, you're most likely going to be going into raging. Raging's better, but. Rebellion, again, they both have 3,000 B6. You can summon them off of Absolute. You can then Pendulum summon them. I mean, you want to use John K to overlay and get their effects in, but if you can't, you know, they pack heat because they've destroyed themselves in the Pendulum Zone and allow you to add more combos and stuff, so it's really nice. This one, this one when he su XZ summoned, he basically nukes the field of all level 7 or lower monsters on your opponent's side of the field, and they take 1,000 for each, and then he can attack three times for that one battle phase. Um, this one, he can attack twice if he's used XZ summon using a dragon to, using an XZ as a material. Um, he has a detach effect where he can nuke the field and then he gains attack, eight, 200 attack for each card destroyed on your opponent's side. So he basically destroys all cards your opponent controls. It's basically a Raigeki. It's a super Raigeki because it destroys everything. Um, and then he gains 200 attack and then he can always attack twice. So, you want to go into him before you go into him. This is the better one, but Raging is the better one, but you can always go into him later on if you need him. And they both have the effect where if they're destroyed, you place them in their Pendulum Zone. A uh, Pendulum Zone. Next, for the fusions, we run two Loud Eyes Vortex. Again, you're getting that out most likely through Absolute. Um, once per turn, during either player's turn, when the opponent activates Spell Trap Monster Effect, you can shuffle one face up Pendle Monster you control in the extra deck, or back in your main deck, and negate the activation if you do destroy that card. It's a negate. Nothing special. For the Synchros, we run one Meteor Burst. Special summons cards from pendulum zones and it shuts down your opponent's monster effects. One clear wing because clear I love clear wing negates and destroys crap level five or higher monsters from activating. And then uh, one Nirvana high paladin you can actually go into this. And um, if you go into this, if your opponent doesn't strike it, even if they do strike it, it goes into the um, pendulum zone. You're still gonna win. They gotta get rid of this guy twice. When he first of all, when he destroys a monster by battle, he's 3,300 attack. He's killing something. Uh, when he destroys a monster by battle, you can have your opponent's life, and you can use a mirage. You don't even need a tuner. You just need to pendulum summon a mirage, and have a have a synchro out, and a level seven synchro, which I clear wing or meteor burst, and you can just synchro summon using the mirage and summon him drop him on the field and if you have Supreme King Dragon Odd Eyes he will do double damage so they'll do double damage then they'll have the life if they strike him he goes in the pendulum zone and basically if a pendulum monster you control attacks it cannot be destroyed by that battle also you take no battle damage and your opponent loses the attack equal to 
the amounts of that attack. So basically, and it is once per turn. So literally, if you have five pendulum monsters and you attack with like an odd ice pendulum dragon, and you attack with like a um, I don't know, an odd eyes mirage dragon, and whatever else. So then Nirvana, you use Nirvana Highest Paladins for both effects. Your opponent's monster will be losing 25 plus 12. That's 3,700 attack. So you're going to... He's just a great card. You can go into him very easily. You can use the Time Geezer. You can use the Two Mirage. I feel like he's very easy to go into. But you can take this out for whatever you'd like, like I said. Um, I only have 14 cards in the extra deck. Um, the 15th card can be... Um, another level 7 synchro like a meteor burst but it's completely up to you guys um, or you can just play a flare metal you know just sit there and on a flare metal and just say take 500 for every time your opponent activates an effect take 500 take 500 take 500 take 500 let them kill themselves um, so anyway I really do enjoy this deck um, I tried out this deck and it actually is working really well for me like I said, there are a few options that you can definitely take out. Like, if you want to play, like, One's Dragon Rage and um, play something for more consistency, be my guest. Uh, but I really do enjoy this deck. And I hope you guys will, too. Anyway, so I hope you all enjoyed this deck profile. Feel free to smash that like button and hit that subscribe button for me. And like I said, as always, I will try my best to update when my uh, schedule allows it. Anyway, with that being said, I wish everyone a good night and talk to you guys soon. Later.